<laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> Don't mind my voice. I've actually been sick with COVID for uh, almost two weeks, so I uh, have not been riding my bike at all. But stopped by uh, Barnes Blackfoot, and they had a whole bunch of cool things I ordered came in. And so today, quick video. I'm going to do a couple of do-it-yourself videos. I bought the Ducati fairing, that little windscreen that you can get for Street Fighter. I'm pretty sure it's the same for V2 or V4. And so I could not find anyone on YouTube who has a video on this. And so I'm going to put this together and do a quick uh, how to install your windscreen because uh, it's much simpler than it looks, but there are some little tricks with Ducati World, as anyone knows, um, to know what you're doing. Check it out. So first things first, who doesn't love a Ducati box? This is super simple. Tinted road headlight fairing set. Part numbers, all your stuff you need there. This is the Ducati, this is an aftermarket. And so you get a box of hardware. There's literally uh, six screws here, I think. Windscreen. And a mounting bracket. Nice, this is exactly what I need. Mounting bracket is solid. Some kind of hardened plastic with aluminum inserts. And I'm gonna save you all some trouble because the first thing you're gonna do is go to these instructions that come in the package. And it's gonna say, scan this QR code for customer and it's not going to work. So this QR code goes to a text screen. So basically what you're gonna to wanna to do is put in this accessory search, pull up the media document, and man, what a mess. So here's the page you go to. So go find the bigger headlight fairing, and then go here to assembly instructions. And that's gonna bring you to this crazy page of course, in Ducati style, this comes in eight languages, but in your instructions, all the languages are overlapped. So what I'll do is I'll walk you through some pretty simple how-to steps here um, and just walk through what this is because it's gonna be almost impossible to find the original writing. So number one, step number one, this is the cover right underneath your display. And these are not very well represented in the picture but these are just pressure clips and this piece will actually just pull straight off okay. there we go they just insert right here into these little squares so just give it a little force that'll pop right off all right step two this little accessory piece is also just a pressure fit it sits right here above your headlight and you just pull up on that it'll pop out so right here, see how that just lifts right up? And those are just little rubber inserts holding that in. Just had to put down the phone for a second, I needed two hands. So there's two more pressure fittings at the back. So you can see here, one, two, three, four. Page two, super simple. These three washers are gonna go on top of your fairing piece. So here we go, three washers, and you can see here, I'm just pushing these through so that they sit flush inside so you have a ring on either side of the plastic. All right, so once you have these in, so you're basically pushing it through halfway through. Flip that guy over. You can see these aren't gonna be totally square. So from the back side, straighten these out, flatten them out. Ready to go. All right, next step. This is the mounting bracket. And we're going to mount that underneath where you took off that cover plate. Three screws. You just need three of these without the washers. So once we're in here, you basically want your bracket to fit in behind the circuitry here. So this is a quick release. You're just gonna to wanna to pull that back. And this is going to sit right in here. Your holes are all pre-drilled. I'm not sure if you can see that. One through three, bolts on, and then we'll hook the electrical back up. And just a little trial and error here. If you see this bolt without the little notches in it, these are the five mils that go to mount the bracket. These other ones that have the little circles on them, 
Those are four mils we're gonna use after. This hole at the back, a little bit tricky, awkward position. So I'm using one of these round headed fives with a long handle so I can get back there, twist it in at an angle. So probably a good idea. One extra tip here. If you snug up these top two screws on the mounting bracket, it'd be much easier to get that last screw in the bottom. All right, that was a pain in the ass. But got those three in. The bottom one, yeah. Don't worry if you drop the, the bolt, it's gonna fall down here and you can catch it underneath your headlight. It's not going into oblivion. Torque spec on those three bolts is 10 newton meters, so make sure uh, you get some force on that. Put a torque wrench on it if you've got one. Now the fun part, windshield assembly. So here's that filler piece. That can go back in right where it was. Again, just four pressure fittings. That'll just pop into place. And then the windshield. So your last three screws are the four mil screws with the little holes on them. And one washer for each to go on top of the rubber insert. When you pop these on with the washer, they'll sit in really nice. Sizing is all perfect. Ready to go. Torque spec on the four mils, six Newton meters, so not as much, but of course this has taken all the uh, the wind at full speed, so make sure that's on there snug. Torque wrench if you've got it. So first things first, get this insert back in. It's gonna line up in those four holes. Just get that wiring harness out of the way and it'll pop right in. Voila. I kind of wish there was a little cap or something here that would cover that wiring, but uh, pretty sure when the windscreen's on, we're not gonna see that. On these top two, alignment isn't perfect. So make sure you don't snug up the first one all the way. Leave a little bit of slack so that you have some room to move it. And then this bottom one you can see is spot on. That's that. Last page is just all of your parts, which we went through already. And we're done. And there it is. Nice. Just enough to shoot that air over my helmet when I'm tucking. <laughs> Sick. That's it for today. Quick install, six bolts, a few tricks along the way. One thing I didn't expect was unplugging my dash, so it's probably reset everything. So I gotta make sure that my settings are all still correct. Otherwise, uh, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Next video up, Arrow. I'm going to do a video on installing the wings on your Street Fighter. I've got them in a box. See you soon.